I do recall helps you remember everything you learn. Let's review the core workflow. While reading your learning materials or watching educational videos, you'll encounter things you'll want to ensure you'll remember. Pause to quickly create one of our unique flashcards called Recalls. Recalls are linked to the exact location where you learned the topic of that flashcard. Here in the I Do Recall library, you can upload your various files and add videos hosted on YouTube. Get into the habit of creating recalls as you consume your content. I'll demonstrate. I'm reading this file, and I want to remember this concept. I'll quickly create a recall. Notice how the selected text was automatically pasted into the answer. If I want, I can flip it into the question, edit it, or even replace the text and format it any way I desire. Here's an image that I want to use as the basis for a redaction recall. I'll snip it and then quickly redact the regions where I will challenge myself to recall what's hidden before uncovering them during practice. Out on the web, I use the I Do Recall Web Clipper browser extension as I learn. First, I'll make a recall link to this text on a Wikipedia page. While watching this video on YouTube, I just learned something important, so I'll create a recall. Note that the last few seconds of the video's transcript were automatically added to the answer. As usual, the link is to the timecode, and I can edit the answer and even replace the text to suit my needs. It will still be linked to the current timecode. Recalls are spaced repetition flashcards. They are scheduled for practice by our spaced repetition algorithm. Every day, you should practice your scheduled recalls. They are found here. Let's practice the recalls that we just created. Here's the front of the recall where I retrieve the answer from memory. Here's the back where I'll see the answer and issue a star rating for how well I did. Honest self-appraisal helps the I do recall spaced repetition algorithm set the optimal next date for practice. As I go through these recalls, I'll demonstrate how clicking the source button takes me right back to the exact location in my content where I learned that thing. If the source is on the internet, it will open in a new browser tab. If the source is in the library, it will open in a light box. Here's the redaction recall where I must recall what's behind each redaction rectangle. The current redaction has an orange outline. I'll click to unmask each redaction as I retrieve it from memory. That's I do recall in a nutshell. Consume your content in our library or on the internet. Create linked recalls and practice them when scheduled by our spaced repetition algorithm. You honestly can remember everything you learn with I do recall. And you'll do it with a smaller time investment than you would with traditional study techniques.